Hi guys, so this is a real cool thing to receive in the post today. It's the eagerly anticipated 40th anniversary G-Shock Square in the resin case, um, the 5040. Really, really cool piece. Uh, just received it, so looking forward to unboxing it with everybody and to do a very, very quick review. Um, along my favorite square which I've customized with the uh, 5600HR resin um, bracelet very very cool but anyway let's get to the exciting part of unboxing the anniversary edition there you go. So it comes in a new box, which is quite cool. Got the paperwork here. So you got a warranty card, instructions, and a module instruction. And let's have a look. Ah, ah, let's have a look at the new case. Okay, that's kind of cool. It's like a eggshell-esque G. Wow, that's very, very different. The first time I've ever seen anything like this. And it says push. So let's push it to open it up. Oh, okay. Very, very different. The watch is coming in a pouch. You usually get a, a tin, which is part of the enjoyable experience, but this one's come in a pouch. And here you go. Wow, look at that. Look at that. Now that is cool. And let's turn Turn it to the rear. Oh, now that is very, very cool. It's got both this recrystallized screw back case. Okay, this is a cool, this is super, super cool. Now, now we're talking. Definite, a definite serious collectible piece. I was pretty gutted because I didn't manage to pick up any of the 5035, the 35th anniversary, but Casio definitely pulled it out of the park for the um, for the 40th anniversary. It's got very nice kind of gold gold buttons, hidden details, gold screws. Yeah, that's a very very cool looking piece um, i'm also liking the kind of gold screen and of course the um, keeper which is 1983 since 1983 and that's also sort of like a re it has a recrystallized sort of finish on it Nice, made in Japan as well. Let me try and get a closer up of the case back. This is already sold out on their website. Um, it's going to be a very, it's a desirable piece. It costs £269, um, which for what you're getting, okay, it's not a cheap watch, but in terms of G-Shock and what you're getting, yeah, it's very, it's very up there. It's a good buy. Um, let's press the modes. So, head of the alarm, you've got your timer, your stopwatch, back to time. So pretty much a basic, a very basic kind of module um, does what it got. It does the essentials of what you need it to do. Um, let's try and do the backlight. 
כן? אז הוא צריך לקבוע, כן? That is uh, very strange there. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, light on and off. Okay, the light does work. Sorry, it's just the... Uh, I'm looking at this through the camera screen. And, uh, yeah, I think you can really see it. Let's do it again. There you go. That's the illumination coming through there. So it's a backlit, backlit um, LED screen. Let's put it on the wrist. Well, firstly, let's try and remove this uh, tag. Really, it really, is really cool to finally get one of these. Um, been Read it again on G Central, the usual place where I keep up to date with my G Shock news. And um, I've, I was like, well, I have to get one of these because I missed out on the 35th, 35th anniversary. And, you know, annoyingly, it was then bought by resellers. Um, trying to make a quick buck. All the scalpers, or whatever you want to call them. Plenty of them around. Um, and I think the one I really wanted was the Big Bang Square, which is all black. That That's a really cool, very, very cool piece. Uh, but this is awesome. Um, you can find, like, every five years they do release one of the Project Team Tough basic squares. Um, so there's a, I know you can get the 20th edition, 25th, 30th, 35. Um, a lot of them available from Japan. Um, but you will be paying quite a premium. And they seem to get better and better every year. Let's pop this on. Give me a second. Here we go. That's it on the wrist there. That's uh, give you an idea. Fits really well. Awesome watch. This is super cool. An absolute must-have if you are a G-Shock Square fan. There's a lot. I mean, G-Shock fan, and if you like your squares, this is a serious must for your collection. Uh, lovely, lovely watch. It's definitely one for those who are fans. I mean, if you just want a simple, practical watch. This will probably do. Um, this, so this is, I just showed it earlier on. It's a pretty much basic 5610. Um, this is the newer version. And I've just put a sort of resin bracelet on it. Really good, lovely daily wearing watch if you want to wear one. Uh, but this is definitely cool. If you, were, if you are a collector. And... Um, you appreciate G-Shocks for what they are. You can also see the classic sort of brick brick pattern in there, harking back to the original. Um, yeah, so there you go, guys. That's a quick, um, quick little look. You won't be disappointed with this watch. I can tell you that now. If you if you've already bought one or you're waiting for it to be delivered. Uh, you're in for a for a nice treat if you're looking to buy one hopefully they release a few more um, if not you're gonna have to be looking on the usual eBay or trying to find one um, but I don't think you're gonna be disappointed if you pay retail for it yeah not cheap but again bargain for what you're getting the screw back case and particularly the gold um, the iron plate and gold or whatever it is uh, actual body so yeah it's a good very nice watch great for the price I'm finally happy to actually have an anniversary square and I've paid 
retail price for it and not bought it off someone else so yeah really happy um, lovely watch but again if you're looking for a really good daily um, and you love the iconic kind of square you can't go wrong with one of these um, particularly if you can get I bought this um, bracelet here and it is super super comfortable I'll put it on for my wrist to show you um, but yeah, mega pleased with this one. And I'll put this on to show you how super comfortable this is. This is such a light watch, it is awesome. Um, fits like an absolute, fits like a glove. Um, very much like this piece. Uh, fantastic daily G-Shock if you want something. Um, really good watch for the gym, just day-to-day -day use. And putting the um, the resin bracelet on it, oh, it's made it mega, mega comfortable. Really love this. One of my favourite Gs, this one here. So I'd say if you want to make the perfect daily wearing square, you can't go wrong with this, uh, this combo. You can buy them online, the bracelets. Or if you've got a 5,600... Uh, HR, I think is it B five thousand six hundred HR is the original watch it came from. Um, so that's a square with a black black dial. Um, but yeah, there you go, very nice daily. Um, but this, yeah, lovely watch. Coming back to it, oh, wow, very very cool. Super, super cool piece. Um, I'll probably do a review one day with a few of my G squares. I do love squares. They're awesome. One of my favorite watches. So, um, yeah, thanks for looking. Any questions, let me know. Please subscribe. Um, I haven't done a review of a G-Shock in ages. I have a lot of Gs. I'm a G, big G fan, fanboy. Uh, but, yeah, thanks for looking, guys.